Hello friends, you are watching Gate Helpline and in this video we will see question number 10 from Gate 2021 CSIT set number 2. And the question is, consider the following ANSI C program. And this is the program which is given to us. And the question asked is, what is the output of the program above? And the options are A14, B20, C24, D30. So friends, now we have copied this question into our dashboard area and we will try to explain this question so friend this is a fairly simple question and what we are doing in this question is we are having an declaration to array that is array of size 4 by 5 now we have two integers defined that is i comma j by any chance you have worked with arrays then this is obvious that for a 2d array we need two for loops to assign the values and the same thing is being done here okay so for the rows we have this for loop running from 0 to 3 and then for the columns we have 0 to 4 okay and then these values we are putting here so now what we are doing here is 10 into i plus j and then we are assigning this value to array of i j so friends here we'll see how our matrix will look like okay so we'll start with the first row here so what will be the first rows values so when we start we will be starting with i equals to 0 okay and then we came inside this nested loop okay so this nested loop is running from j equals to 0 to j less than 5 now we go inside this nest loop so it will be running from 0 to 4 okay so we will put our values directly here so this value we know that is 0 so 10 into 0 will become 0 and we will be left with the value of j the value of j will be from 0 to 4. So this is obvious that the first value will be 0. The next will be 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay. So this will be our first row. Our second row will be for iteration i equals to 1. And then again we will be repeating the nested loop. So here it will be 1. So this is fixed that 10 into 1 will be always 10 and we will be adding the value of j here so the second row will look like 10 11 12 13 and 14 so friends this is a fairly simple question and in exam when these kind of questions come you can find out the, the values of rows in this fashion so the third row will be for i equals to 2 so now the value of i here will become 2 and the iteration of j will again go from 0 to 4 so it will be 20 21 22 23 and 24 okay now the last iteration for i that is i equals to 3 and that will be true because 3 is less than 4 now the value of 3 will be for this i so this will become 30 and again we will be having 0 1 2 3 and 4 for value of j so the values will be 30 31 32 33 and 34 okay so friend this is the matrix which will be the value of a okay so th this will be the value of this matrix that is a 4 by 5 okay so now so now the main question because i know in exam all of you would have done this part correctly the problem which lies with this question where maximum of the students are unable to solve it is this part okay so what we are doing in this part is there is a pointer okay and we are having array of 1 plus 9 so how this value evaluates is first of all the value of this is array of 1 that simply means only the first index is given and the second column parameter is not there this is the row parameter okay so the row parameter is pointing to first row okay so this one is the zeroth row this is the first row so now we are at this point okay now from this point what it is telling just move your pointer by nine cells okay so this will be one two three four five six seven eight nine so if you move your pointer from row one then you will be reaching to value 24 okay so this will become the answer to this question so this is this much simple and fair so friend just to let you know that 
this is the way this program used to work so we'll copy this program from here and we'll go to an online compiler okay so we'll paste this program here and we'll remove few things okay and instead of just running this program we'll try to print the matrix as well okay so we'll write this array of i j here and after this loop we'll again write printf here we will have slash n so it will go to the next line okay and after this once this matrix is done we'll be printing this value of array of 1 plus 9 okay so now i'll just run this program and see uh, okay okay here i missed it so now we'll run this program okay so see now we have the output 0 1 2 3 4 then 10 11 12 13 14 20 21 23 24 this way and this is the output that is 24 okay and if you see this is the same matrix which we have created here fine so we are on the right track now just to explain you how this works like the way we have explained it earlier i would like to change few things see the way i have told you is array of one means we are pointing to the row number one because row number zero is the first row then row number one is the second row okay so if i change this value to zero then it will be pointing to this cell that is zero zero right so from here it will be going to nine pointers so one two three four five six seven eight nine so this time if i again rerun this program this particular value that is 24 will be changed to 14 so now we'll just rerun this and see if it comes as 14 or not see the output is now changed and it is coming as 14 so friends this was just a demonstration that this particular program works in this fashion and this value evaluates to the row cell plus nine cells okay so friends 24 is the correct answer to this question so now we'll check in the question okay so question number 10 option c is 24 so that is the correct answer so now we'll go and validate in the answer keys as well so for question number 10 the answer is option c so friends answer to this question is option c so friends if you have any doubt or question you can ask us in the comment section so friends thanks for watching please like and subscribe and we'll see you in another video.